I've been waiting for this video. Not only is Lotto one of the best female rappers out today, she's one of the best fe um, the best rappers, period, out today, bro. I love Lotto. She's sexy as hell. She got bars. What I like about her, she be having, like, you know, her um her thotty type of songs. But she also, bro, you can tell that she really loves hip-hop, bro. She, I grew up, not grew up watching her, but I've, I've been watching her since she was coming up on the um the Jermaine Dupri show, uh, the rap game, whatever it was called. So I know, bro, I've been watching her since, I've been a fan since then. I know that she really loved hip-hop, bro. And for her to do this with Rakim, for Sprite, Limelight, whatever it is, is dope. Let's check it out. Hip-hop came out, it was taking over the neighborhood. Everybody was break dancing, writing graffiti, you know what I mean? So I was knowing the game, doing my thing. I started realizing everybody was kind of, you know, catching on to what I was doing. Yeah. Some of them she was biting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're going to hear a bunch of, you know, Lotto impersonators soon. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? That was my little sarcastic remark, like, don't sweat my technique, don't yeah. do what I do. Oh, you know? I didn't know, I didn't know what that meant, don't sweat my technique, bro. He said, bro, get off my balls, bro. You got, you got to do your own thing, bro. You need to get off my nuts heavy, bro. You need to find your own style. This is my style. Ah. I never knew that, bro. You know, like it seemed like the '80s, the old people got like, a different way of of tell you to get off their nuts, bro. Like, <laughs> like you, you, you rock your heavy, ain't you? I mean, that was my little sarcastic remark. Like, don't sweat my technique. Don't yeah. do what I do. Fifty years. Don't sweat the technique. Don't sweat the technique. <laughs> Never sweat the technique. Lotto. It's trap season, bro. No sleep. I've been trending all week. Seven days out of top week. Cheap. I ain't worried about sneaks. Made a hundred more when them songs got leaked. So I ain't worried about the sneak dissing, bro. Make a hundred more songs before it get leaked. I ain't worried about sneaks. Made a hundred more when them songs got leaked. Don't sweat the technique. Never sweat the technique. 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 Uh. I never thought Lotto would be rhyming on, you know, sweat the technique. Mm. I, I wasn't like, working on it, putting it together. Uh, I was nervous as hell. So I was like, you know what, let me just do me on it. And then let me just talk from my perspective on the verses. So I'm like, you can't go wrong when you saying your story, you know? Right. Drop the song yeah. with my favorite rapper with a wop. wop. Rap too easy, hit the switch and went pop. Then I hold your breath if you went on me to flop. I just dropped another bop. Crowd on my party, I don't got a Photoshop. I just hit a wifey and went heavy on the watch. He heavy with the chops, I go heavy on my I've been at it since eight years old. You know how many rappers I done seen come and go? 777, I ain't sell my soul. First hit from the A that went plat and cold. No sleep. I Hold on. She can't be, bro. Hold on. She the first female rapper from Atlanta to go platinum. That can't be. You got Rashida. I don't know. She might, bro. I don't think Rashida really sold nothing. Unless you're going to count Diamond from um, Crime Mob. Who else, who else from Atlanta, bro? That can't be it. China White didn't sell nothing. Gangsta Boo from Memphis. I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Damn, bro. She the first female rapper to go, da to go platinum? Bro, I know I'm missing somebody. The trending all week. Seven days out of top week, cheap. I ain't worried about sneaks. Made a hundred more when them songs got leaked. Don't sweat the technique. Never sweat the technique. Don't sweat the technique. Never sweat the technique. Tell me when they made it cool to be a hater. Mm. Every year I'm going bigger, doing greater. Mm. Got them hissing for a spot, I keep it playing. Putting mm. on for my city, claim county to the cave. Caught a meal on some toys for the hood. Employed the cool, make sure everybody good. Put my mama in a range as I should. I'm from the south, I ain't going Hollywood. I've been at it since eight years old. 24, still got room to grow. Still got plans and goals. Still watching, she a fan for show. Ten toes, and it's still a lot, let them know. Low sleep, I've been trending all week. Seven days out of top week, cheap. I ain't worried about sneaks. Made a hundred more when them songs got leaked. Hip hop 
has taken us everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where do you see uh, hip hop going in the next like 50 years? I feel like I should be asking you that. There's <laughs> <laughs> really no telling. Um... All right, hip hop in the next 50 years. I don't think hip hop's going to be the biggest genre like it is now. I think we're at like the prime peak. Really, we're, we're sloping down, bro. This is the first year. I think Lil Uzi just got it, bro, where a rapper wasn't number one since, like, 1993, bro. So that has to, like, have your mind open, bro. Like, I don't think it's... I think hip-hop is sliding, bro. Especially this year. This year here. It has... I'm not saying, like, there's... It's been bad music, bro, but it hasn't been good either. We haven't had really that many like big hits this year like the past 20 30 years from the 90s to like the 2015s oh yeah hip hop's biggest now you got like if you look at uh I didn't even notice cuz I don't listen to country but I think uh Morgan Wallen and Luke Combs like every time I see top 10 songs of the week or month or whatever it is them two motherfucking names is the first two. One and two. Morgan Wallen and Luke Combs. Both country singers. Countries, I think, is getting bigger. I think Pop died. Um, reggaeton is, is huge. Reggaeton, like Latin music, Carol G, Bad Bunny, that's blowing up. African music, blowing up, bro. So I think hip-hop's at a stage now where it, it, might, it might be dead, bro. Not not dead, dead, but it's going that way, bro. Let's see what they say. Of course, they're going to say something positive, but you got to look at things. 50 years. I feel like I should be asking you that. There's <laughs> <laughs> really no telling, Um, especially, like, the female, the whole female wave. I'm sure y'all never expected females to be this prevalent. You know, the front runners, like, A-list top dogs in hip-hop right now, so. I think y'all just, like, you know, crack the 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 mold and yeah. Like, you know what I mean, and if we can do that, I think it'll mm -hmm. keep living fifty years, hundred years. Don't sweat the technique. Never sweat the technique. 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 Bro, I would have loved a Rock Him verse on this song, just to like bring the two, the two errors, the two gaps, whatever it is, together, bro. That would have been dope. I, I like how they did it. How they had like this, the verse and then a, 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 a interview question, a verse. Like kept doing. I like how they did this, bro. Shout out my baby Lotto. She killing it. Shout out Rock Him, one of the illest, one of the greatest rappers of all time. But yeah, dope.